Hello people, I'm Jenny Matherill. I am a fourth generation witch. Today's video is all about what type of witch are you? And although there are literally hundreds of different individual types of witches, I want to focus on the main types of witches and look at what they are, what they do, and how you might become one of those. So this is my what type of witch for you. Now, why would you wish to identify with any particular type of witch? Why wouldn't you just want to be your own type of witch? Well, it is really useful if you are, for example, a religious witch, such as a Wiccan. You can then get together with another group and practice the rituals and the rites that might need more than one person, and you're all on the same page. So it is quite a good idea to you know, have some kind of label attached to you. However, the opposite effect of that, people can then put you in that box and you'll never break away from being that witch or that type. So, you know, there's good and bad with each. However, I definitely have labelled myself in general as a witch. Let's, there's, no, there's no two ways about that. I'm definitely a witch. And we'll get to my type at the end of the video, just so you know. So what we're going to look at is the sort of main witch types that exist in this world, the sort of main groups of witches. And these are going to start with the religious witches. This sounds a bit of an anathema, doesn't it, that you can have a Christian witch, but this is possibly one of the biggest sects, or certainly the largest growing sect of witches, natural, unconscious or otherwise, that you may find. Christian witches, of course, are those who've been brought up in the Christian faith, yet follow magic as well as Christ. And why not? After all, Christianity was based almost completely on paganism. So they're so interchangeable and it is a very natural pairing. Likewise, we have a Wiccan witch. Now, Wiccans are a religious sect who all get together and practice a religion. They can be Gardnerian Wiccans, they can be Alexandrian Wiccans, they can be a Dianic Wiccans. There's lots of different sects within it. So the Wiccan religion very much is a nature religion, practicing goddess worship, nature worship, looking at the wheel of the year. And it's a very natural feeling religion. There are many div other different types of religious witches, and uh, one of my favourites is the satanic cult, um, who of course are all witches, aren't they? <laughs> Some of them wouldn't even consider themselves witches, but yes they are. And if that rocks your boat, off you go. Next up are those who don't believe in any religion whatsoever as part of their witchcraft, and these are just secular witches. Now, a secular witch would go about their daily lives and business just incorporating magic into it, much as I do, although I would not describe myself as a secular witch. My next type of witch that I want to talk about is a cottage witch, who is a witch that's primarily concerned with domestic harmony. So this witch might use, for example, um, some herbs to make a delicious cleaning, cleansing potion with which to wash their floor. They might use a collection of herbs to put as sachets under people's beds to help them sleep better. They might change the energy in their room by using joysticks and candles. You can always tell a cottage witch because as soon as you walk into their house, their energy in that house is always calm, loving, happy, energetic, and it's, it just has a particular feel about it. And they are all concerned with domestic harmony. Possibly need a bit more of that in my house, domestic bliss. Mr. Metherall sometimes gets a little cross with me when I'm being a little strange. I get a little cross with him too, poor Mr. Metherall. I don't feel that sorry for him though, only a bit. <laughs> Kitchen witches as well are part of this domestic harmony group and they are particularly good at casting their spells by using food so their wooden spoons become their wands as they stir their intent into the recipes that they create. It's a really lovely witch for those who do a lot of cooking for say their family because you can do all sorts of spells for them which they might not necessarily know you're doing although I always like to tell people when I've done them a spell depends if you like cooking or not. I'm not a great fan of cooking, only because for many years I was a cook, so 
Uh, I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I sort of lost my mojo on that one. One of my coven members is definitely this type of witch, which is, of course, the crystal witch. Those witches that use their crystals in their daily life. So she might use her crystals for healing. She might carry a crystal with her in her bag. For example, I know she has a large red jasper to bring her prosperity and wealth. And she uses these crystals to change the energy around her and in her day-to-day -day life. So she might put them with her plants to help them grow. Or she might take them out with her when she goes to a meeting to give her courage and strength. And she's using the crystal energy to change and harmonise her life. And that is a perfect crystal witch. One of the most popular types of witchcraft is of course the green witch. And this is the classic herbologist. They use the flora and the plants around them to create magic, use in their spells and use in their day-to-day -day lives. This could be putting into cooking, they could make incense blends, they could use dried herbs and put them into sachets to make you to give you the sweet dreams spells. Possibly even stuff a poppet with them. Or just plain make a herbal blend of tea to bring you peace and happiness, say. Green witches. Oh incredibly nature bound. They do look at the seasons as they're coming and they spend a lot of time foraging for their plants and learning the correspondences for them. It is an ongoing craft so you can't expect to just become a green witch but you will learn it. It's quite often a good idea to do a little herbology course for this or you can just spend a lot of time looking things up. Then we have the hedge witch. This is possibly one of the most common types of witch, although the people who are these might not realise it. Hedge witches are basically psychic mediums. And it comes from the expression riding the hedge or jumping the hedge, which means to cross between worlds, between the world of spirit and the world of us. And these witches tend to spend a lot of time in the world of spirit. I spend quite a lot of time in the world of spirit, I have to say as well. And lovely it is too, but it is a beautiful and very rewarding path to go down. Pagan witches are those that followed the old nature religions. This could be the um, Scandinavian religions of old, you know, Thor and Odin, Loki, etc. You could be following those types of religion or the Druidic faith. They're a pagan witch after all. It is again a more religious based witchcraft and if that is what you're drawn to, I, I rather fancy myself as a druidic style witch if I was going to be you know, more religious in my craft. Maybe I should explore that option. I don't know, you can change you know, you don't have to be one thing. Talking of not being one thing, you have the eclectic witch. Eclectic witch are those who choose little bits from here, there and everywhere. They might do a little bit of green witchcraft, kitchen witchery, cottage witchery, ride the hedge occasionally and then go to a Wiccan meeting. It doesn't matter that you can be everything or none of them. The classic witch that you sort of get in your books is the solitary witch. That old witch in the woods who's sitting there stirring her pot, growing her herbs and warts at the same time. Now, solitary witches are more common than you might expect. And they will have a lot of knowledge because as a solitary witch, you tend to study because you've got no one to bounce your ideas off. So the studying comes in. So maybe that would appeal to you. I quite fancy being a solitary witch when I grow up. It sounds sort of lovely, doesn't it? Sitting in a cottage in the woods and not talking to anybody. It sounds idyllic, in fact. When I grow up, I'm going to do that. The elemental witch is a witch that works with earth, air, fire, water and spirit. There's five elements, apparently, depending on which one you go for. Or, or you might just work with earth, air, fire and water. As an elemental witch, you might be just drawn to one element and therefore your spells are mainly concerned with using the element of fire. Water witches are also very clever because they can get into all sorts of creditors. I would say one of my clients, Hi Poppy, might be, although she doesn't know it, a water witch because she runs through things without realising it. If you want to know about how to become a witch yourself, then do have a look at the rest of my videos and I'll put a playlist up here for you. It just shows you all the little facets of witchcraft that you could possibly want to learn. But how do you know what type of witch you are? Well, it very much depends on what you're drawn to. Are you drawn to kitchen witchery? 
cooking for your family and loved ones and in stirring your intent and using your spoons as wands? Or are you drawn to green witchcraft? The type of witch that you feel most affinity with is the one you should try first to see if that is for you. Now, what type of witch am I? I am a very rare witch. I haven't met anyone who really does my job or um, considers themselves one of these. There's probably only a couple of us in the country after all. And I am a demonologist or a demon witch, meaning that I spend my time fighting, banishing, destroying, and really getting rid of demons from this planet. I've crossed swords with more demons than you can shake a stick at. However, I've never met anyone else who really does what I do. I do teach what I do to other people and I do take a lot of demons off clients. And for those of you who say, I'm mad, well, talk to my clients about that because I pretty much tell you that they don't think so. And I might be mad, but I don't care because I know that what I do is pretty darned hardcore. But I like to call myself a demonologist because mm, I'm more into the understanding of how demons work and where they come from. And that is about 50 videos in itself. So if you want to know more, come and join me on Patreon and I'll tell you more there. Look up Ginny Metherill, there you'll see me. In the meantime, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And let me know in the comments below what type of witch you are. I'll see you in a few days.